Let's paint a simple little rainbow with our ponies. Hello friends, May Flom here. For this project, you're going to need a wood base or canvas, acrylic paint, and you're going to need the pony parade buttons from Dress It Up. Now what I have here is a wood base wall hanging or shelf decoration that I've painted with white acrylic paint. And what I am doing right now is just deciding what kind of a rainbow I would like. And what I am demonstrating to you is, this is one of my favorite techniques when painting with acrylic paint. You can draw some lines or just sketch things out. And if you don't like it, I'm using the back of a paintbrush. You could use a lot of different things here. If you don't like it, use a toothpick or something, then just wipe the paint bring some new paint in or just move the paint around and try again. This lets you sketch out your idea and get a general feel for it without any commitment because you're not drawing, you're just moving paint around and or removing paint in a sort of a way so that you can create your project. I'm just taking different colors of acrylic paint and I'm painting to start with every other color of the rainbow that I've got planned out and I'm basing this on the colors of our ponies. And I'm doing every other color just to give myself a view of how this is going to look. And I'm using those lines more as guidelines of where things are or how I would like things to be. As that changes, I will just adjust accordingly. And of course, you're welcome to use multiple layers of paint. You can really build depending on if you have a really opaque paint versus a really sheer paint. Sometimes you'll need more layers. If you want texture, you can certainly build that. There's a lot of options here if you want to get fancy, if you want to do a lot of stuff, or if you want to keep it very simple, you certainly can. And I'm just working with paint colors on hand. I'm a really big fan of using what I've got. Once this is all set aside and dry, I'm going to apply liquid adhesive adhesive, which you see me doing there. I'm putting all of the liquid adhesive down all over. And this is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to seal. It's going to create a sealed coat. Number two, I'm going to sprinkle glitter all over this. And what this is going to do is just add some sparkle and fun. So I'm gonna concentrate on the edges. I'm also going to put some, especially on the white area, but then a little bit on my rainbow as well. But this is really just going to let me have a little bit of sparkle and shine here. And there is more glitter than I need. What I'm going to let this do is let the glue dry entirely. And then once everything is completely dry, I will shake off the excess glitter. But as long as we've got wet glue going here, I'm gonna go ahead and glue our pony friends down and in rainbow order, so pink on one end to purple at the other. And there's a lot of different ways you could do this. There's a lot of different project ideas. We could create things with felt. We could create things with fabric in our scrapbooks. I just love this rainbow of ponies so much. They are so cute. And I think that this would look really cute on a bookshelf or maybe a little bit of higher shelf if it's a younger child would be really fun. But you can see how easy it is to create custom home decor, to create projects that are a lot of fun with your buttons, but also at the same time using supplies you already have in your craft area and that don't take a ton of time. So here you see the finished dry project that we have shaken the glitter. And by the way, all the excess glitter I put back into my glitter container to be used for sparkling things up on another project. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe to Dress It Up Buttons for more video content. And of course, be sure to tag us if you create. We always love seeing what you make with Dress It Up Buttons. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day.